I've been dreaming of this, Jane. I always knew you'd come back to me. Jane, hi. Oh, hi. How are things? Oh, fine. Listen, can we meet up later? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. The thing is, I really need to talk to you, and we never really got a chance the other day, what with Matt's unexpected arrival. We could talk now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't right now. I've got to go to the office. On a Saturday? There's loads of stuff I need to sort out, you know, for the move back to New York. They're really putting me under pressure to leave as soon as possible. Right. Anyway, do you think we can meet up later? Say about eight? Well, you can try. Don't worry, I will. I'd like to take you out for dinner. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. No, really. What are you going to do about the band? Oh, don't you start. I've already been sent this. He's a bit desperate, isn't he? Well, wouldn't you be? The gig's in ten hours. You've got to let him know. I will, I will. It'd be awful to let him down. And it isn't just him. There's Simon, there's Helen. She's doing everything she can. Even David's helping out, and for no money. Why don't you sing with them? You know the songs, and you've got a fabulous voice. What have you got to lose? You know what the problem is. I just don't want Mac getting the wrong idea. Anyway, Bill wants to take me out for dinner tonight. It's funny how people think bad news and food go together. I really think you should give Matt a break. Doesn't he deserve it? Deserve it? He's put such a lot of effort into this band, and he's tried so hard to put your relationship behind him. He isn't trying it on, I'm sure of it. He doesn't want to get back together with you. You seem to know an awful lot about Matt all of a sudden. Well, we've talked about it, that's all. One, two. One, two. It's not very original. Ali! <laughs> it's great to see you. But you're a bit early for the gig. I know. I was just wondering if there's anything I could do to help. That's really nice of you. Well, I want it to go well. Is there any news about Jane? She's not coming, is she? She must have decided to go out to dinner with Bill. OK, Matt. It's down to you. Everybody, gather round. Everybody. Can anyone tell me what's going on? Warming up. Where's your singer? She couldn't make it. Couldn't make it? I've invited important people from the business, I've signed a contract that gives away nearly all my rights, and now you're telling me you haven't even got a singer. You're not singing, Matt. No way. Contract clearly stipulates that you are not going to sing with the band. Am I right or am I right? From a strictly contractual point of view, you're right. Eddie, we're on in a few minutes. Jane, I really care about you. 
You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. And I don't want to lose you. Well, I'm not the one who's going to New York. You could come with me. What? Well, I don't mean... I don't know what I mean. But there must be a way we can make this work. Please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really ought to answer this. Okay. Jane, where are you? We need you desperately. What's happened? And now, let me introduce to you the one and only Broken Hearts featuring Eddie Usher! Eddie? You've got to be joking. They didn't have a choice. Wait a moment. I need to talk to Bill. What's going on? Is it the gig? Yes, it's a disaster. I've really got to go and sing. Okay, we can sort this out later. Ali, I'm coming. going on? Sorry, Eddie. Uh, change of plan. What's she doing here? The contract clearly stipulates... That the band can choose its own singer, provided it's not Matt. Come on, Eddie. You know it makes sense. Break a leg. You better be good. Those boys have got a damn good deal out of me. 